Today I want to walk you through step by step how to go live on YouTube with your phone using StreamYard. So live streaming is a great way for you to interact more with your audience in the moment as well as get a bunch of views and watch time especially for the replays of your lives. So we've been going live on our other channel every Wednesday since the beginning of 2021 and it's been a great way for us to interact with our audience. For most of that we've been using StreamYard. We find that it's a super easy to use tool. You can use it from your computer or from your phone. So if you saw our previous tutorial I walk you through step by step how to do everything using your computer but I know a lot of you create all of your content with your phone so I wanted to show you that you can do exactly the same thing from your phone no need for a computer to go live on YouTube with StreamYard so basically what we'll do is create an account connect our YouTube channel schedule live and then go live on YouTube you ready to get started okay so what we're gonna do now is actually go to StreamYard.com I am already there and then I'll walk you through step-by-step -step creating an account so what you're gonna do first is obviously just click on get started from here add your email address and get a login code. One thing a little bit different with StreamYard is instead of having a password, it's gonna email you a code every time you wanna log in. Obviously on your computer, I stay logged in a lot of the times. Um, that's just one kind of small thing. All right, so welcome to StreamYard. Let's get going. Onward. Okay, so what you can see here is there's a bunch of options as far as choosing a destination to live stream with StreamYard. So a bunch of options with Facebook, LinkedIn, Periscope, Twitch, RTMP server, or your YouTube channel. So let's choose YouTube channel, then you need to choose your email address and the specific account that you want to live stream from. You're gonna allow and give it access to your YouTube channel. And then it says your YouTube channel was connected and you're all set. So a couple of things here, you need to have a verified YouTube channel to be able to go live. And then once you go into the live stream part of your channel, you may have to sign or agree to certain terms and conditions. Once that's all set, you're ready to go live as far as YouTube is concerned, then you can easily connect StreamYard or whatever other service that you wanna use. So you can see here, uh, we're connected to YouTube. The next thing would be to create a broadcast. So one thing you could do is just actually record a video, sharing your screen, you talking, whatever it is. That can work as well if you want to just say skip record only, or you would actually choose, hey, I want to live stream to this specific YouTube channel. Once you choose YouTube, you're going to have a couple of options. You'll have the title, uh, description, so test live stream my first live stream my first live okay so then the option here you're gonna have public unlisted or private so if i were to right now say create broadcast and it's public and not scheduled for later i'm going live on youtube right now if i were to go to unlisted and do the same thing basically i could share the link with anybody i'd wanted and they would have access to the live stream through that link or private if for some reason i wanted to you know only have that recorded on youtube that's generally not what you're going to want to do unless you're just saving it for your your future uh, live stream. So if we were to say, say unlisted, and then what we always end up doing when we go live on YouTube is scheduling it. So if you schedule it as essentially free advertising on YouTube, I wouldn't schedule it a week or a month or something in advance because you're going to have the live stream show up on some people's home screens when maybe you want your latest video to be showing up instead. But we usually create the live stream, say a couple hours, maybe 24 hours before actually going live. And that way it's appearing on people's YouTube home screen that are subscribed to our channel, reminding them, hey, tomorrow's a live. So what we would end up doing is say schedule for later if you do that you can add a thumbnail so again think about people that are on YouTube that are being notified about this you want this to be like other stuff on your channel put effort into the thumbnail catch someone's attention and so they want to remember to watch your live so you could upload an image you know from your photo library take a photo otherwise if you don't do this basically it's gonna pull in your YouTube banner and use that for a thumbnail so it's 4.30 right now. Let's say I wanted to go live at five o'clock in essentially 30 minutes. So if I click create broadcast, okay. So we see right here, scheduled for 5 p.m. And then if I were to go into YouTube studio right now, videos, live, so one thing compared to if you view this on your computer, it's not showing me the live right here within YouTube Studio where I could go in 
and add tags, turn on monetization, a whole bunch of other things. So definitely check out our other live stream video from your computer and you're gonna see some other settings that you are not gonna find on this mobile version. But I do think it's important to add the description, add the title, add the thumbnail like we did when we're scheduling it. Okay, so the, the live stream is created, ready to go. When you're ready to actually go live, what you're gonna do here on your phone is click on the three dots. If you wanted to invite a guest before you actually start, I could click on this copy this link, and then invite somebody to my live stream. If you're looking to grow on YouTube this year, don't forget to sign up for a free YouTube masterclass. It's a one hour training with tons of tips that help you grow your channel. If you're interested in signing up, I'll put a link down below in the description. Okay, so now I invited one of my colleagues. We're gonna see if they're gonna be able to join as well. And then to actually get started, you wanna enter the broadcast studio. Okay, so entering broadcast studio. So StreamYard wants access to my microphone and camera. I should allow that want to choose your display name. So let's put in my full name. So right now I'm viewing this um, vertically on my phone, but obviously, you know, it's gonna look better on YouTube if I rotate my phone like so. So I would probably set everything up on my trusty switch pod, you know, doing something like say that. Okay. And so what I could do here is I obviously could mute myself I could stop the camera. If I click on the settings, it'll give me a couple of other settings for the camera. So which camera on my phone do I wanna use? I can also change some of the audio settings. So iPhone mic, if I had a other connected mic, I could select that instead. Echo cancellation is important. And then I could automat automatically adjust the mic volume or I could adjust it manually. So my display name's good, everything seems to be working right now, and then enter Broadcast Studio. Okay, so what you can see right now is everything on screen. So you have the mic, camera, guest, and more. So obviously I could mute myself right now. I could turn off my camera if I had, you know, my you know profile picture that would show up when I had the microphone off. Guest, you can see right now that I have uh, Laura joining me as a participant. And so if I wanted to add her to the stream, I could do that like so. And then now she's actually in the live stream. If I wanted to change that, I could essentially remove her from the stream and it's back to just me again. Or if I were to, there's a lot of options you can go through. And so if I add her to the stream, you see that there's the two of us. But again, if I wanted to change the layout, I could have that be on just me, for example. And then so she's essentially backstage. And if I'm live, they're only gonna hear my audio right now. The other things that you can do here is if I were to change the layout again, you know, I can have right now Laura's joining me. I can then go back to show more and layout. And if I were say sharing a screen, it's a little bit harder to do that if you're on your phone, but those are some of the settings there. And then what else do we have here? So private chat. So Laura and I could talk back and forth and it wouldn't show up on YouTube, I can change the settings for the camera, audio, and guests, and things like that from here as well. And then whenever you're ready to go, so if we want to start with Laura and I at the same time, I could click on go live. And here it says you aren't scheduled until 5 p.m., but hey, if you want, you can start early. And then once the live stream is started, you can see it says live up in the top left corner. You can see powered by StreamYard. If I want to go through and make some further changes, what I can click on now, is so you have banners so i could add text like this along the bottom of our stream i can create a new one where i say hello, hello. and then if i go to scroll at the bottom as a ticker so we see now we have hello going along the bottom like so i can turn this one off i can turn that off um, we saw how the guests work and Lauda has other stuff that she's working on. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to remove her from the stream and then she is, is no longer showing on here and it's just me. And so that's essentially how you work with guests. Here's the banner section I walked you through. From there you have branding. So I could go through and add our branding color. It's just taking this blue right now. And then there's different themes. So I have minimal themes. So you can see my name changes in the bottom corner. So you have these four different options. Then you have it saying powered by StreamYard. So if you're on the free version of StreamYard, you can't turn this off. Yeah, so here you're saying, hey, we're gonna put this on the free plan. You can turn it off or add your logo if you're on a paid plan. They have overlays, so there's a pre-made one with StreamYard branding on it that looks something like that that you can turn on and off. 
There are, you can add video clips up to a hundred megabytes and I think it's less than five minutes. Another thing you can do is say, share your screen for like a YouTube video or something else. Again, it's easier to do on your computer versus on a phone like this. And so I could turn on the tap for sound. There's a little bit of music and a countdown like so. And it, if you can see right here that it muted my microphone while this video is on. If I wanted to then turn that off, it turned my microphone back on and I'm back on screen. Below that, there is a background. So what's gonna happen here is if I were to turn my microphone on, Normally, if there, there's some of the screens where a background and say Loud and I are on screen, you're gonna see this little you know, dark leaf background or whatever kind of personal branding background you may add. And then if I want to remove the names from the live stream, I could do that like so. So you can see I've been going live now for two minutes and 40 seconds. If this were the end of my live, obviously I could just hit end right here. And the broadcast, you know, they wanna know how to go. I think we did a good job. How can we be better? It's always good when companies want feedback. Uh, not right now though. And so you can see that I'm still in here as far as the live stream. I could say bye to other people around the, str the stream. I could thank them, things like that. And it wouldn't actually show up on YouTube. It's just the conversation if you were having say a Zoom call. Once I'm done here, click on leave. And there we go. And so you're gonna see now, if I go to past broadcast, you have our test live stream. The other thing you're gonna see here is I could download the recording. So you could get a copy of it by downloading it within uh, StreamYard. So that's the basics of how to go live with StreamYard on your phone. If you wanna see the video we did on how to do it on your computer, I'll link to that up above right here. If you wanna see all the other videos we have to help you grow on YouTube in 2021, check out the playlist below. Hope to see you in those and other videos. Bye-bye.